Bungalow was a massive hit for Scott Hellman, but now he's in the studio. Is he trying to just write another radio hit? Bungalow, massive hit. Uh, as I'm getting ready to interview you, the, it's still stuck in my head. And uh, have you ever been nervous that that's the song that will define you, or do you know you have more fire in it? No, I mean, I've always had, like, I mean, I'm still writing music, like, right. even when I was, you know, performing that song, so. I don't, I don't think that's an issue, but I mean, if it is, it is. You tweeted studio bound with, the, with a little bit of excitement. So following up the EP of Augusta, what are we looking for here? Um, definitely something new and different. I'm always trying to sort of make something that defines like sort of what I'm doing at the time. Like I don't go back. I try to sort of look forward right. when I'm in the studio. Taking off your clothes, taking off my clothes. Scott Hellman is still stoked about writing music, but what about the other parts of his job? I've watched interviews with you before where you love making music, you love writing music, you're a creator, um, you're a creative. Do you still have that juice? Are you still super excited even after touring and all that? Yeah, like it's fun. Like I go on tour and it's always very fun and then I get to, you know, go to the studio and it's like I, when I hear the song back, I'm like still vibing. Like it's always fun to, to make music and I think when you're an artist like there's so many different facets of what you do like you play live you do interviews you you uh, you and then you're in the studio so you know there's so many different things and they're all because like I'll be in the studio and then I'll go play live so it's all always new right which is awesome so I think yeah it's always great to you know be making music this is how it goes this is how it goes Scott Hellman just wrapped up his North American tour with Walk Off the Earth, but does he prefer touring solo or with his band? Now you've toured across Canada and now and some US with Walk Off the Earth. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite part and what's the most challenging part? What's the part where you're like, oh, I didn't know I had to do this while I was out here? Um, it depends on like how the show is. Like if I'm with my band, it's different because I, you know, they're my buddies, so right. we just we have a good time. But you know, for Walk Off the Earth, it was like a solo tour, so. It's like when you're sort of before the show and you're about to go on stage and you're just like looking around, drinking pineapple juice and like <laughs> you're like, what? what's going on? It's that's, party. That's when you find out Belmont's your best friend. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> For sure. What they don't have those there, man. They got like no, cigarettes or. We probably shouldn't be talking about that on TV, but whatever. Way up high in your sweet little bungalow. Scott Hellman released his seven-song EP, Augusta, and just toured with Walk Off to Earth, but his work isn't over. What does he have lined up for the summer? You have quite the summer lineup with all these festivals that you're attending. Is there any festivals that you've actually been to before that you're actually excited to be performing at now? Or what is the most important, uh, exciting thing about your summer coming up? I've like, don't, I never really went to festivals as, as a kid because it's just super expensive. Right. So I'm like, I'm a fan and I'm so excited to be at like Squamish and like, um, like Edge Fest and these yeah. festivals, you know. Cause you know, like, like to just see these artists perform is just gonna be awesome, so. Well, it's your manager's like, yeah. doing a good job because you got a hell of a lineup for this summer, don't you? Yeah, it's gonna be good. Just a boat on the ocean. Scott Hellman just wrapped up his North American tour with Walk Off the Earth and gets three days off in Toronto. What is on the top of his list to do while he's off? While you're in town, what's a must do for, for Scott? Are you gonna hit up Augusta? Or yeah. where, where's the places you have to be? Usually Kensington Market. I like going there, getting a coffee and just like watching people. Nice. It's very interesting. Or, you know, just like seeing all, it's hard when you're like on tour and then you got like three days cause you gotta like book everyone in, you know? Yes. So I'll just see all my friends and hang out, you know? So any friends of Scott, please do not be upset with him. He is trying his best. He still loves you all, correct? Correct. All right. This is how it goes, this is how it goes. Scott Hellman's favorite book is Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, an Inquiry into Values. And he shares a quote with us and explains how his life came full circle. You look at where you're going and where you are and it never makes sense, but then you look back and where you've been and a pattern seems to emerge. Yes. What does this quote mean to you? And thanks for sharing that quote, by the way. Yeah, no, it's like, that's my favorite book, man. That's such a great book. It's like weird when you're on tour and you're like, what's going on? Where am I? I'm in Philadelphia, I'm in New York, I'm in Chicago. And then you look, kind of look back and you're like, wow, like this sort of was supposed to happen this way. I mean, like last year I was at the MMBAs and I had a, like, you just, this whole, all this stuff happens and then you look back and you're playing it and it's just like, 
it just seems like it was a pattern emerges. That's the way it was supposed to be, kind of, is always a nice thought to have. Mm -hmm.